Hi, my name is Karen Bredhauer. I'm uh, Marty Bredhauer, and this is our grandson, Hans. <laughs> and we are out here in beautiful Nebraska, Custer County, right in the middle of Nebraska. We have 320 acres, uh, which is just a little drop in the bucket compared to the big ranches around this area. We run bison. We've been doing that for about 25 years. We have about approximately 25 mother cows and three herd bulls. Uh, we have all of the um, calves from this year, last year, and the two-year-olds, and the two-year-olds are what we will butcher this fall. We uh, pro uh, market all of it through the meat, um, mostly selling directly to consumers, wholesale also. We don't give our animals any medications. We put apple cider vinegar in their water. That keeps them healthy. Uh, they are totally 100% grass fed. We don't give them any grains. Uh, so we think it's about as pure meat as, as you can get. No vaccines, no antibiotics, steroids, nothing. We uh, got a uh, SARE grant uh, about three, four years ago to try out some different additives to our soil to improve the quality and quantity of the grass. We raise bison and they are totally grass fed so they totally depend on the, the grass which depends on the soil. So we tried three different types of additives uh, and compared those then to a control group. We had uh, sea minerals um, for one of them. We had a biological solution for one which included raw milk and fish emulsion and molasses. And then we had a combination product uh, it was called Grow Balance um, that combines both the sea minerals and uh, um, organic material. And we did those for two years. We did settle on, on continuing um, this year, last year and this year with uh, the combination product just because of the ease of use. Um, it was easy to obtain. It, we didn't have to drive all around to, to get it. It came in some buckets that we could mix with, with uh, uh, in a tank and spray it on. And um, yeah, it's, it, was, it was easy. It, mostly it was easy to use and gave the same kind of results as, as the other two things as well. We, we do rotational grazing. We have several different, um, we have uh, approximately 20 acre paddocks that we rotate the bison through. We have uh, planted some uh, shrubs to help control erosion. Um, we have uh, uh, also gotten a, a compaction meter to, to measure the compaction and we're finding some areas that are pretty compacted. So our next plan uh, later this summer is to plant some cover crops that will help to break up some of that compaction. Field harvest means that I uh, uh, take my uh, rifle and my loader and I uh, drive right out in the pasture where they're at and uh, drop one, bleed it, and uh, then I carry it back to our uh, state approved uh, building where we butcher them. And uh, then we uh, just, uh, we take, we load the quarters into a refrigerated truck and uh, take it to um, Hastings, Nebraska, which is about 100 miles away. And that's where they do all the processing and uh, uh, do the cut and wrap and everything. And then we, uh, we, we bring the meat back in boxes into our walk-in freezer. And from there uh, we market it uh, through our sales trailer.